President Biden is expected to announce an end to the longest war in American history. Officials say Biden will pull all U.S. troops out of Afghanistan by September 11th, 20 years since the terror attacks that started the war. Chief White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has the details. Cecilia, good morning. Diane, good morning to you. So there are still as many as 3,500 American troops in Afghanistan right now. This drawdown would bring that number down to zero. It's been called America's longest war. It's been called America's forever war. And just take a look at these numbers. They're absolutely staggering. More than 2,300 U.S. troops killed in this time period. More than 40,000 Afghan civilians killed there. The cost, 825 billion billion dollars. Now, the administration says that threats facing the United States have changed in the last two decades, that al-Qaeda no longer poses a threat to the homeland. Republicans say this strategy of drawing down these troops right now, though, abandons our allies in the region. Mitch McConnell says this is turning tail and running, but the administration says humanitarian aid will still be provided to that region. Diane, after the president makes this announcement today, he then heads over to Arlington Cemetery, not too far from the White House, where he will be paying tribute to those service members who were killed in the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. All right, Chief White House Correspondent Cecilia Vega, thanks for that, Cecilia. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.